A very warm welcome to Shomu's Biology Academy and this is going to be a biotechnology lecture series video for all of you. The adsorption chromatography, what do we mean by the adsorption chromatography? The adsorption chromatography is probably one of the oldest type of chromatographic models. This is the oldest type of chromatographic models like you have seen in the paper chromatography, you have seen in the TLC, you have seen in all the adsorption techniques that it is the oldest thing that the solutes, the solute molecules can get imbibed on the surfaces of the particular packing material or the particular chromatographic material. So what does it do? It utilizes a mobile phase or a gaseous phase that is absorbed into the surface of the stationary phase and this equilibration between the mobile and the stationary phases accounts for the separation of different solutes. So what does it do? It is a simple, simple idea about the simple idea about adsorption chromatography is there is a simple idea about the science of adsorption means this molecules, the solutes, the components that we are trying to separate out from a particular mixture will be imbibed on the surface only. It will not go inside the material of the uh, adsorbent. It will not go into the material of the adsorbent and will stay on the surface only. By staying on the surface, what do we mean by this staying on the surface? That means that uh, the surface has grooves like this, right? The surface has grooves like this. These are grooves. So by uh, having grooves like this, the solute molecules, the solutes are getting inside these grooves and can stay there for a while. On the stationary phase, they can stay stuck for a while. So this adsorption chromatography, what does it uh, make us do? This actually attract those molecules in the grooves of the surfaces and make them stay and on uh, reaching a particular favorable condition of the mobile phase wherever the adsorption rate or the uh, imbibition rate is uh, very high then only they get stuck on the surfaces whenever uh, the attraction forces are not so high up to a certain level or up to a certain height they can move along the adsorbate but whenever it is reaching it cannot go any further they can the attraction forces uh, between the surface grooves and the solute molecules become high enough so that the solute molecules sit on that particular position and we can get a spot we can get a spot we can visualize it and we can identify it further for any chromatographic separation to be successful run if you like our video please hit the like button share this video with your friends and colleagues and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you get more and more of this kind of video in future thank you